Okay, guys, let's look at module 00103, Introduction to Hand Tools in NCCR Core Curriculum. This is section 1.00 of the Common Hand Tools. All right. Again, it's trade terms that you need to read over and become familiar with. All right. Claw hammer. It says with this hammer we want to hold the hammer with the end of the handle even with the lower edge of the palm keep your eye on the nail head and we want to make sure that we're, we have our hand down towards the bottom of the handle and using all the weight and leverage of the of the rest of the hammer to help drive this nail with all right it says keep your eye on the nail when nailing chopping wood sledgehammers anything this is what we want to do if I'm going to drive a nail right here, I'm going to take the, the hammer and rest it right on top of that nail. And I'm going to draw it straight back and straight down. And if I do that, I will consistently drive that nail straight down. It's where when we start swinging from anywhere else other than right on top, that we miss aim, damage stuff, hurt things, whatever. Straight claws and extended head, this would be an electrician's hammer. Ball peen hammer. Uh, ball peen hammer should not be used as a hammer to hammer a nail since the steel is tough but not as hard. It's got a rounded face. It's like machinist and people use it for stuff like that. Sledge hammers. Heavy and require a lot of effort to swing. Start with lighter blows until you achieve a rhythm. And let's start with it directly on top of the stake or the post that you're driving. Up to 90 degrees straight down. Up, down, up, down and drive it. Wood chisels and cold chisels, you know, a lot of apprentices get the wrong chisel for the wrong thing. Here, here's one thing to put in your head right now. If it's got this plastic handle, it's made for wood and wood only. Okay. If it, if it doesn't have that plastic handle and it's one solid piece of steel, that would be a cold chisel, bricks, mortar, concrete, stuff like that you could chip away with. Just, you know, make sure the plastic handles are for, for wood. Center punches and pricks, you know, you can tap, make a, a start in place with them, uh, mark gears and shafts with them. Screwdrivers, all right, many different kinds here. Slided, Phillips, clutch drive, Torx, Robertson, and Allen. I don't want the electricians using a Phillips head screwdriver unless that's the only thing that you can use. Meaning, I got to take apart the air conditioner to get the cover off requires a Phillips head screwdriver. Inside the terminals and everything else, I'm going to use a squat, a slotted or a square drive or a Robinson, whichever one you want to call it, to do that with. Okay? Don't do electric work with the Phillips head screwdriver. Clutch drive, Allen, Robinson, Torx, you know, different things that, that an average person wouldn't have. Uh, you may have a, a penny in your pocket or a dime that could get this slotted screw out. But clutch drive, Allen Roberts, with those special shapes used with tamper uh, resistant things. On our screwdrivers, we want to make sure we pick the right blade. So I want an assortment of screwdrivers. I don't like expensive screwdrivers. I don't know. Every expensive screwdriver I buy is chips and breaks just like the, the whole set of cheap ones that I buy. I'm not, you know, don't want to go as cheap as I can, but a good Stanley set with 10 or 15 screwdrivers in it, nice cushion handle. That's what I'm going to buy and use. When it chips and breaks, I'm going to throw it away and not want to hold on to it because it was $50. You know, uh, $30, $40 gives me a whole setup. That's what I want. All right? And when I got that whole set, I want to make sure I'm using the right one. I don't want one that's too small, too big, too anything that tears up the head of the screw. Very unprofessional. Non-adjustable wrenches. It says correct wrench fits hardware snug. Provides enough leverage for the task and be manipulated in the space available. Adjustable wrenches or spud wrenches are handy if you're often working with large valves or plumbing fixtures. Sockets and ratchet drives are very popular due to their versatility and speed. Torque says torque wrenches allow users to apply a specific amount of twisting power to the hardware. Pliers. We use a lot of these pliers. Uh, slip joint, not really no use for. Maybe working on bicycles. Long nose, lineman pliers, tongue and groove, all day long, 
electrician you know is not really locking pliers. Uh, we want to invest in a good pair of nine inch long uh, lineman pliers with the handles you like. If we oil them, take care of them, and only cut and twist copper aluminum and copper clad aluminum wire, this pair of pliers will last us possibly forever. It may last a, uh, a, a concrete worker or a form builder a few days, right? So we want to buy them, make sure we use them for the proper things. All right, some review questions for section 1.00. It says the type of hammer that is primarily used in metalworking is the rip claw hammer, the drywall hammer, the curved claw hammer, or the ball peen hammer. I'm going to say the ball peen hammer. Okay. Blank chisels are designed for hard materials such as steel or stone. Cold, cake, wood, or bevel edge. I'm going to say cold. All right. Screwdriver provides the least amount of grip on the screw head is the slotted. But you're going to make sure that you put it in correctly with the slotted screwdriver so it doesn't matter. Blank wrenches are used to tighten and loosen threaded pipe. Non-adjustable pipe wrenches, spud wrenches are boxed in. Well, that's going to be pipe wrenches. Side cutters are also known as our favorite pliers. Are they slip joint, long nose, linemans, or locking? Lineman pliers are side cutters. Alright guys, that's it for that section. Next section 2.0.0, .0, measurement and layout tools, and I will see you over there.